hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this structured should i call it pet house or we are going to learn how to structure this detail or design for your dress so i used a lace fabric for this but you can actually do this with an ankara or any type of fabric that you want to work with working with a lace is harder after trying this out all i can say is that working with a lace is harder but doing this with an ankara will be way better so you can see how beautiful this looks and it doesn't bend like you can see that i'm touching it right now it doesn't bend you can just structure it or bend it the way you want but you can see that it is very firm so if you want yours to be wider or bigger than mine you can as well do that so here is the lace fabric that i will be using and i used a copper wire for this but i will recommend an aluminum wire but i couldn't find it but if you are working with a lace especially you should use aluminum wire because it looks more like um a fishing line it is a kind of silver or let's say it if you insert it inside a lace people will not really notice it but if you use a copper people might notice though it depends on the color of the lace you are working with so i got this copper wire i have one mm here this is one mm if you want to use a wire that is thicker than this fine but from one mm to 1.5 is just okay anything above that will be too strong for you so the first thing that we are going to do is to cut out the shapes that we are going to be working with if you want to have a circle you can cut out your circle shape if you want to have a for a square shape any shape of your choice you can go out and cut out and remember one side will be straight you can see that one side of this petal is straight then the other side is a kind of round so i'll go ahead and cut out like five i just want to use this to illustrate i am not making any dress i just want to illustrate with this so i'll go ahead and cut out you will cut out as much as you want it depends on the area that you want to add this to so after cutting it out i will go ahead and pair them after cutting i will pair all of them if you are working with a lace i will advise you to use the lace as the lining like you will pair all of them with their lace if you are trying to save your fabric you can use an organza you can use an organza fabric as your lining like if your lace is blue use blue organza as the line i don't know if you get that is if you are managing your fabric but i am using the lace for all of them so right now i am pairing all of them so after pairing them i'll go ahead and join them with half an inch i will join them round with half an inch and after joining that i will come back and show you guys so right now i am done joining them with half an inch and i will go ahead and run another stitch very close to that half an inch seam allowance so but before i do that i will trim out the excess allowance i don't want to have too much i will trim out the excess allowance and i'll go ahead and run another stitch very close to that allowance that um first stitch that i ran there so this is for the channel like running another stitch will create a channel for you this is where you will insert your wire so the picture on the thumbnail i am not sure if they used this method but this is the method that worked for me and if you try it out it will work perfectly well for you so after doing that you will go ahead and bend the tip of the edge of your wire you will bend it so that passing it through this channel will be very easy for you so you go ahead and start passing it in between that first stitch and the second stitch that you ran i don't know if you get so you can see that i am struggling with this lace because this wire is piercing it but if you are working with let's say a duchess a thick duchess a crepe or ankara you might not really encounter this ankara is just the best for this but 
lace is still okay so you go ahead and insert your wire please remember to bend the edge or the tip so that inserting it will not be too hard for you so at this point if you want to reduce your allowance more you can reduce it and after doing that you will turn out this um design after inserting your wire you will turn it out and you will arrange your fabric so you can see this copper wire is showing though not too much but it is showing a bit just a bit but had it been i used an aluminium wire it will not be too noticeable so you can see what i have here i am done with three already and if you are to cut out your own please your own should be wider than mine it should be wider this is something that i noticed along the line if you are working with a wider design it will be way easier for you both inserting the wire and turning out your fabric everything will be way easier for you so this is the second to the last one and i am inserting it so inserting before turning your fabric is better because i i turned first time uh, first time i turned the fabric before inserting the wire and it was very hard for me that's why i turned the fabric inside out so after inserting the wire you can now go ahead and turn it is way easier this way i tried the boots this one is way easier so that is why i'm advising that you should use this method so this one should be the last and after turning it out i will cut out the ss wire that i have after doing that you can go ahead and iron so this is the last one i guess so guys you can see how beautiful this is so if you are cutting out your own you should cut out a very beautiful shape so that after adding all this you will be left with a fine detail i don't know if you get and remember to bend your wire remember to fold your wire before inserting if you are working with a thicker wire then you should try using a plier a plier will help you to bend the tip of the wire so at the end of the day this is what i have and i hope that it is very beautiful so if you have any suggestion please share in the comment section please share in the comment section if you have any suggestion so thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see it i am ijoma and thank you guys so much for your support and for watching and liking my videos see you all in my next video and please don't forget to join our telegram group i will drop the link in the comment section all right guys see you all in my next video bye